computer upgrade king. Today we're going to be upgrading the Asus GL504G. As you can see, nice looking laptop here. To open this thing up, it's here we have our little guitar pick, little Weedle Weedles, you know, and we have our plastic spudger, always important, and just a typical small Phillips head screwdriver. So this is a one panel removal here. Based on the panel design as well as the thickness of the laptop, it's probably not going to be a board flip. You will be able to tell here from the corners, it does like kind of slope down into this. So most likely these are going to be shorter screws. So we will need to keep track of which screws go where as we remove this. We typically recommend that people kind of lay out the screws in the grid in which they are removed. So it kind of matches. And keep track of that as you go. And so we're just going to continue making our way around, getting all these screws out. All right. So 12 total screws, only two short ones are going to go in these like sloping corners here. So that's going to be easy to keep track of. I don't think we need this grid. We're just going to get them out of the way. So we don't accidentally set the laptop on top of them and scratch the heck out of them. This laptop has this light bar. So we want to make sure we don't do anything that is going to mess with that. We're going to start on the corner with the pick until we get our first audible click of lamp. Tell me something good, laptop. We did it. Yeah. Just kind of run around the edge of things here. Run around the edge over here, nice and easy. It all comes apart. Hooray. Battery, two and a half inch drive. Appears to probably just be for a seven millimeter. NVMe M.2, two RAM slots for DDR4, SO DIMM, and you've got your CPU and your GPU. Again, easy to tell because it's going to have this additional cooling for all your memory chips and whatnot. That's how you always know it's the GPU. Looks like our Wi Fi is all covered up by this fabric tape. All we're going to be doing is upgrading the memory. We're going to go from this single channel configuration. Oh, it does have a little clip on it. All that little drops back and then oh, look how easy it is when you do it right. So as you can see here, this is in a single channel configuration. This is how Asus and seemingly a lot of manufacturers for this generation are shipping the laptops. It seems to cause major performance issues in games as far as overall frame rates, particularly in games that are very CPU intensive. What we're gonna be doing is just taking out the single 16 and we're gonna be putting in two eights to enable dual channel. And that's pretty much all that's going to happen. That's going to fix all of our performance issues that we've been experiencing. And then we're ready to ship more or less. But anyway, let's get to it. So again, it's just going to be these two little metal tabs. You're just going to pull them out. It pops up to this 30 degree angle. It just comes right out. Should be no resistance. If there is, you're probably doing something wrong. And again, to install new memory, it's going to go in at that same 30 degree angle. And then you're just going to push it down until it clips. It should always fully clip. And we're gonna do the same for the second stick, 30 degree angle, it clips right now. We have our NVMe drive. If you wanted to replace this, it's a very simple process. So essentially all you're gonna do is remove this one screw here. This is gonna pop up 30 to 45 degree angle. Go ahead and pull it out. You'll notice here that it does have this big gooey pad on the back, that's a thermal pad. Very useful. If you are going to be upgrading, make sure you keep this pad. It should peel right off. Yeah, like so. Just transfer that to your new NVMe drive. NVMe drives tend to run pretty hot, especially if you're not running a very like high quality brand. Samsung and stuff like that, you probably don't really need to worry about. But we have seen things from like Patriot and even some HyperX drives that run really hot. Uh, so you'll want to keep that in place. It's going to help you overall with your, I guess, long-term speed test stuff. If you're doing any big transfers and it really heats up, the more that the controller heats up, that's the important part, the slower the drive's gonna be. So keep it as cool as possible. Make sure you transfer that pad. And we're just gonna put it back in for now since we're not gonna be upgrading it. But again, it's gonna go into that 30, 45 degree-ish angle. Push it down. It should line up with the screw hole. Once it does, put the screw back in place. 
that's the whole process. We could show you how to do this as well. As you can see here, this is just the cage. So just a simple explanation of what's gonna go on here is you would just remove this cage by removing these four screws. We'll go ahead and just take it out so you can get a look at it. All right, and so under this, you see it has this yellow tape. That's just keeping these uh, Wi-Fi antennas out of the way. You'll see it has this big like copper thing here. These are actually the Wi-Fi antennas themselves. Anyway, if you look at this here, you can see it's definitely padded. So this is definitely only gonna be for a seven millimeter drive. What you'll find is that in your box that you got with your laptop from Asus, there'll be additional hardware. Uh, one of those things will be a SATA connection that has like a ribbon cable that runs off, into it, off of it. That's gonna plug in over here. There's actually a connection right under this M.2 that's labeled HDD. So that's where that would plug in. And it's really as simple as using the provided hardware. You just screw the drive into place, all four, put it back in with the ribbon cable attached with the SATA connection, and it would just plug in right here. Again, a simple process. We don't have the drive to show you, but that really should be sufficient. Uh, if you do have any questions about that, we have a lot of other systems that we've done teardowns on. Be sure to check out those videos. It's a very similar process in a lot of laptops. And the last thing that we typically show here is if you wanted to change out your Wi-Fi adapter, or for whatever reason your Wi-Fi was running kind of slow or something like that, or you were getting bad signal, this is what you would want to check out. So first thing we're going to do is peel up this fabric tape. This is a very interesting design. Very interesting design. Okay, so it looks like how they've done it. You actually have this tiny little M.2 here. It looks like it actually cannot potentially, well, no, it would slide into place, but it's going to be a pain to remove this, it looks like. Let's see if we can do it. Or if it's gonna require us to take off this GPU. This whole entire heatsink assembly, just to change that car now, that would be really unfortunate, right? So we're gonna go ahead and pop these connections off. That's one, that's two. Simple enough, and we're gonna unscrew it. And let's see, it actually does not appear to pop up. So, let's see if we can get it out of there. You know what will make this easier? How about we take this and that two back out? That'll make it much easier. Let's do that. Just screw together with it. And it really is kind of a pain, so it would seem it would be much, much easier if this heat sink was not in the way. But yeah, it does just slide right out, so I guess you don't need to take this out. That's a real pain. Good luck with that one if you want to do it. And they've actually done something interesting here. What they've done is they have separate Wi-Fi leads that go to this card. And it looks like it goes through motherboard traces and then it goes out to additional Wi-Fi antennas. So theoretically speaking, your reception on this thing should be insane. There's all kinds of Wi-Fi antennas in here. Looks like you've got four different Wi-Fi antennas. It's actually splitting. One runs up into your laptop screen. So that would be towards the top of the laptop screen. And then you have one right here in your palm rest area. Signal on this thing should be amazing. We haven't really tested that, but theoretically speaking. And we're just going to put it back in, so we're just going to drop it down in there. Make sure we line it up. It only goes in one way. And we're just going to seat it. Easy peasy. This fabric tape is not playing nice. It wants to go everywhere, so we're just going to get it out of the way. I'll just go ahead and get this screw back in place. Put these connections back on which again, I'm sure you'll hear me complain about in almost every laptop video. That's not gonna stop. I still hate it. I will always hate it. Even as I get better at it, I will continue to hate it. So I'm gonna get it right over there. Wow. You know what, let's just do the other one first. 
they really hate me. And my hands are so big. <laughs> this may be the most trouble I've actually had putting on Wi-Fi leads in recent memory. You got this, man. Yeah, I know. You just need to believe in the camera guy that believes in you. <laughs> you know? Since they made these cables so short, there's not a whole lot of play in them. But we did it. We knew nothing could hold us back. We made it happen. All right, so we're gonna put this N.2 NVMe back in as well. Now that we're done with it, it's gonna be that same 45 degree angle. We're done with the upgrade process. So before we close it back up, well, first let's put this piece of fabric, take it back in place where it was, covering up all these leads. And before you close it all back up, do not forget to plug your battery back mm. in. If you've done it once, hopefully you'll never forget again. Very simple laptop up to upgrade. From there, we're just gonna throw the top back on. Well, I guess the bottom in this scenario. Very easy to put back on. Everything just works. We're gonna get our short screws out of the way immediately, even though we know there's only two. Just kind of make that happen. I'll start with all the corners. Generally speaking, on a plastic laptop like this, you don't really need to worry about like having counter pressure or anything like that and going in the caddy corner when you're doing anything like that. But on laptops that have like the metal bottoms, or they're like aluminum plates, those things can be a real pain sometimes to line up properly. Uh, they don't have a whole lot of play in them, as you can imagine, they are solid metal. So those are more, I guess, sensitive to the pressures of the screws that you're putting in. And it might actually be better on something that has an aluminum bottom to just kind of put everything in, don't necessarily tighten everything down yet, get everything lined up, and then button it down from there. And this laptop is not the case. Luckily, it already has all those plastic retention clips that kind of keep everything ready to go for you, so you don't need to worry about that. Everything's already aligned and clipped in. This is just to button it down and make sure it doesn't fall off. And that's it. Again, that's upgrading the ASUS GL504G.